Hello everyone, it's Birdie here and Milkshake, the Recycled Hippie Chicks. Um, I have gotten my book done except for the the cards that go in it. So I, I've pre-cut the cards and I thought we'd go ahead and decorate those tonight real quick. I know it's 11 o'clock, it's late, but um, I'm on a roll here and I want to finish it. And I know I have to garden tomorrow, so... I don't know if I'll get back in here. So I want to get it done now and show you guys what I've done. I love this little Janet Nash envelope journal. So um, I still have to get a little tie to go around it, I think. I think it's going to need a little tie. So let me walk you through it real quick and show you milkshake, show you what I've done. And, uh, and then we'll go through and do the... I've got some pictures. I found some flower pictures. And I've got to show you this one picture before we get started. This is my Grandma Hardwick. My mom's grandma. This is Grandma Hardwick over here. And, and her neighbor ladies. And they are in front of this big, huge conglomerate. I see some... What do you call these things? They're not azaleas. Rhododendrons. And then I see a rose bush back here. And I don't know what else is there, but... Oh, and some, no, that's not rhododendrons, that's peonies. Yeah, those are peonies. Anyway, each lady has a bouquet of flowers, and they're just, look at this lady looking at theirs. Oh, ladies, your flowers are so pretty. And they're standing there with their bouquet of flowers. So I thought that would be perfect to put in my flower journal. Isn't that cute? Okay, well, anyway, we'll find a spot for that. So... I finished the journal. Um, this is like kind of part two because I kind of started decorating it in the last video. So if you're just now joining, you might want to jump back one video. Janet Nash, you'll have to go find her channel. And she shows on her teacup journal, she shows how to put this together using three envelopes. And that she just stuffs it. This is her teacup journal. So she shows you how she did it with three envelopes. And go watch her process video. You'll absolutely adore her. If you've never watched her, you'll fall in love with her. And if you have watched her, you know Janet. So go uh, look that up and see how she made it. And now I'm just making my own version. I'm making it with flowers. And um, let's finish it up. The first page has a little pocket on it. We'll do this tag. I found this little quote in my new Strawberry Moon magazine that says, Embrace the glorious mess that you are. I put a little tab on the outside, a little cluster, and I put a little dingle dangle on it. On the inside of this one, okay, milkshake, sweet thing. I know you really, really want to be with me, and I appreciate it, and I do love you, but we're going to scoot your booty over. There you go. You can stay right there, and um, keep your tail over there, and then the next page, I haven't put it together yet. The next page has this little coaster pocket that I sewed on there to tuck stuff behind, and in each little pocket, I have stuck a tag. Just a little number three in this one. Just a little tag. A little... These are just little things I found. If it had a flower on it, I pulled it out. And if it didn't, I thought I might find one to glue on there. And I don't have to find it today. I can find it another time. This is just kind of a blank one that I thought I might find something to stick on. And then this is just one that says, Live Simply, Give Generously. And then back here, I found this little booklet, and I thought we might find a flower to put on the inside. It had a flower on it, so I thought we could just find maybe a flower to put on each side in there. Now, the next one is what she calls her trifle envelope. I got my stuff here to bind it, so, so this is just a piece of um, scrapbook paper, and I just folded it you know, in half. I just cut it down to where I wanted it and folded it in like a door. And then you open this up and I, I know I, in the last video, I glued a rose down here. 
But I found this cutest little gift bag in my drawer, and it had this little hoot owl on it. So I cut this picture out. I thought that would look cute in there. Then I put this little part here that kind of looks like the moon. So over here, I paper clipped on a little. It's a little tea bag. You know, the little thing the tea bags come in. And then inside, I had decoupaged a little flower a, a while back. I mean, I'm just running across this stuff and deciding what the heck, let's use it. So that worked out perfectly. I have it paper clipped over here and then the little th dangle. I just had an old hanky. And so I cut the lace off the edge of the hanky and glued it on and sewed a couple buttons on. And I did take some paper and glue over where I put the button on because I was worried about it pulling through. So, and then I have a little cluster I just glued up here. Okay, now this side opens like this. And we have a card here we need to decorate. This was my little flippy flappy that I had. This is where I stopped in the last video. I said, I'm not going to go ahead and do this because we've been at this for an hour. So it says keeping in touch. And it has this little frog in the pond looking at the frog statue. Isn't it cute? And then the flippy flappy comes over. This is another envelope here that I liked this playing card. I liked the blue and they went together. So I just paper clipped it on. And then this one here, I have put a little tag in with a little daylily. And of course, no book would be complete without a mushroom. I don't know where these came from. I got a whole little envelope full. So I thought I would stick one of those in there. And then just a little picture over here that I thought was cute. This little jar with flowers in it. And then over here, this has a little tag in it that we'll have to find something to put on it. It says, Your Magic. And it's got, I glued the praying mantis to the window so that the tag would go in behind it because I like him. And I put a little butterfly on there with splattered paint. And then over here is our wide envelope that we had that we decorated together. I just put a little girl that I found in a magazine. Let me lift it up here so you can see it. This cute little girl holding her chicken that I found in a magazine. Milkshake. I love you, but you guys stay over there. And then... This long tag with just some pinstamen on it. And then we might find a picture to put on that. And slide it in our little dainty little 1890 envelope. And this we did together. And I just put some stamps on because I saw this stamp over here. And I had these stamp stickers laying over here to my left. So I thought we're going to put those on there. And then I found this large tag that doesn't have a focal. I thought maybe we could find a flower to put on there. And it that's all of it. Isn't that exciting? So let's get busy. Whoops, I'm losing my tags. Let's get busy and see what we can put together in here. First of all, I think I want to... Um, I think I want to do this this one. So that's just going to be a matter of finding one that's large enough, which I think well, this one I stuck in here is probably the largest one. <laughs> yes. Why? Yes, it will work. So let's do that one first real quick. And that will just be zippity doodah, a matter of collaging behind it and sticking the picture on. You know what? I haven't used anything in my underpants drawer for a while. Let's do that. Let's just do that. Let's just channel our 
um, Lori Marie Jenkins and get some underpants out. And let's put those on there. I just have, you know, a while back I was gifted a bunch of that scrapbook stuff from a lady that was moving. And I just found this really stiff um, scrapbook paper. And it's the same on both sides. And I thought, how perfect will that be for tags? So, I mean, if you see spaces around it, it won't matter because it's pretty. So that's what I'm doing. I'm using my gifted surplus. And see, I'm going to leave a little border around it. Just because we can. Hooey, you know I'm smelling that glue stick. <sighs> anyway. We'll just put some on. Lori Murray Jenkins says you always put your underpants on first. And so when this is collaging, you put it on first and then you do everything else on top of it. Your painting, stamping, stenciling, whatever you want to do. And I have just always, always enjoyed that philosophy. Not always do I do it. But when I do... I think of her. Now, this, ooh, yuck, got a big bunch there. Not a thing has happened today since I saw you, except for I went to a soccer game. My high school senior granddaughter is on the soccer team. She's the captain of the high school team. And so I went and watched them. She's the goalie. She's the goalie for JV, and then she stays after JV and plays for varsity, and she's a, whatever, a runner kicker girl. I don't know all the, you know, I don't know all the gists of who is what position in soccer. I just don't. Now, what I do is I tear my underpants up. Whoops. That was the wrong side, but we're going to embrace that and use it anyway. I tear all my underpants up and keep them in a drawer. And that way, they're already t torn. You know, when I need to use them, I can just go to my underpants drawer and get some out. This kind of sounds weird, doesn't it? About me talking about our underpants. but But it's true. You need to have them ready and available. Who wants to sit and cut out squares of paper before you collage? I want them ready to go. Now, maybe this is going to cover that. Yeah, I think it will. Okay, so let's do something different besides painting. First of all, let's, let's see if we can ink this up. And it say, says Grandma Hardwick on the front. It says... Grandma Hardwick, Miss Newell, and Mrs. Herman, neighbors. So that will not matter because my kids will not care, and I don't know who her neighbors were either. So that will not bother me to cover up the back of this photo. Okay, that will help, and I want to... I want to use some gelatos because it's not as messy. And it puts a barrier between me and milkshake. Okay, let's see here. We got, this is going in the front pocket. So I'm just going to pull some colors from, we got pink here. We've got... I don't know. I kind of like that. I kind of like this. Wait. 
Wait, that's not going in there. It's going in this one. It's sliding in this one. Okay, back that truck up. So we're going to put some of this in. Let's get some green because that will match our frogs. And let's get some golden yellow. Um, I don't know. what is that gold or is that yellow? Let's try this one. Okay, let's try those three colors. Just to smear around on our, just to give it some color so it's not just all, you know, writing back there. And I'm just going to kind of go around because I don't care what happens under the picture. Ooh, I'm not sure I like that. It's kind of neon. Embrace it. Embrace it, birdie. Okay. Now, let's just take us some... Let me get some water. Okay. I had to change my water today because... What did I do with the ink? I did something bad with the ink. Oh, I was trying. You know what? I'm. I have decided that not all of those ink stamps are created equal. I had gotten one out by I don't remember who it was by, and it was yuck. First of all, it was hard to ink up, and then when I finally did get it to ink up, it just. It was. It just, it was not good. It was too, too black, too thick, too yucky. And, um, so I tried to smear some of it with my brush. Bad, bad, bad idea. Because the ink I was using was waterproof ink, permanent ink. And it went on to my brush and would not wash off. So I had to take my brush in. I was dipping it in the water, trying to rinse it off, and it would not rinse. So the ink started floating in my paint water. And so I had to give in and go in and empty my week old water and put fresh water in it. And I had to put Goo Gone on my... I had to put Goo Gone on my brush and let it sit to try to get the ink off. Now, time will tell whether I actually did it okay or not, because we'll see when I try to use it in my matte gel medium whether it gets yucky and black or not. I'm going to dry this. Okay. Note to self, if you ever don't want milkshake uh, crashing your party, turn the heat gun on, because she was out of here. She's like, I am not hanging around for this party. So, for the moment, she's not here. I know Carol. Carol, uh, recrafted by Carol, her little cat, Snowball. Oh my gosh, she can sleep through a snowstorm up on her work surface while she's doing a video. It's so cute. But she's just like my cats. Every time she wants to get busy. Here comes Snowball. I, usually it's Pepper, my black cat. Here, Milkshake is... I don't know what the deal is with Milkshake tonight. She must be needy. Wow. I didn't want to use my other one because I just inked it and I was afraid it'd be too juicy. So I got this Distress Ink one out and it's not juicy enough. So I'm really having to push. Okay, let's see how that looks. I wanted to put some black in there since it's a black and white. Ooh, I kind of like it just like that, right? We don't even need anything else. No need to stencil on. Let's just leave it like that. Let's glue that baby down. There we go. 
I literally sat out here all day just taking it easy, just doing my thing, finishing putting this thing together till it was time to go feed a goat. And then I went and fed the goat and I saw a squirrel and thought, oh, I think I'll weed eat my liriope down out in the rock garden. So I went and got my weed eater and was going to weed eat the liriope down and uh, couldn't get it started. So I started tearing it apart to clean the carburetor out. And then husband came and said, are we going to the ball game? I'm like, oh, shoot. So I had to drop everything. It's still halfway taken apart out in the rock garden. So I'll have to put that back together before I go fix, before I go finish that lady's yard in the morning. Something to look forward to, isn't it? Okay, I'm calling that one done. Where does it go? It goes right in here. Let's see here. How uh, We've got this upside down. Okay, so it goes like this. And then this slides down in there like that. Okay, I think it needs... A tab on it what do you think I think it needs a tab right here okay I ran it over to the sewing machine and just sewed a little tab on of course it has flowers on it that makes it legal now I think that one's complete so that'll live down in there let's see here let's do this one so everybody look at this real good. See what we got on there. Now we will look for something in our little pile that I found. Don't need the hanky anymore. And let's see if we can find something that goes on here. Remember there's poppies on the cover, so it doesn't matter. If we find a picture that fits on here and we like it, then that's what we'll have. I kind of like that one. I kind of like that tulips. These are too little. I think I like that one. Okay. And I think this is just going to be simple. Just pretty flowers to look at. This one's not going to have any Where's my scissors? It's not going to have any collaging or anything like that. <sighs> okay, you guys. Where the heck? There they are. We're just simply going to... We're just simply going to cut it out. This side over here is just totally not even straight. So let's see if we can't use that one as a guide. Put this piece in our smaller than a dollar. We'll use that for master board. I've got to make some master boards because that smaller than a dollar drawer is F-U-L full. My friend Puddin, he, he says, it is D-U-N, done. Uh, that doesn't have an... Just keep tweaking it. Till we got it how we want it. Perfect. Let's see what we got here. Okay. I am sorry to some of you. I haven't watched, I haven't gotten caught up on videos lately because, you know, I'm in my 
honeymoon stage with Janet Nash. So until the new wears off with her, I'm either watching old videos or, or getting caught up on new ones. And, and everybody else is kind of going by the wayside. So I'm sorry. I, I do have time to watch just maybe a handful of you, but... Oh. You know how it is when you get a new friend, you want to spend all your time with them. Today she made fairies. When I got off, or, or was it before I started this? She was making her little fairies. I'll have to try those. I'm excited. Okay, bada bing, bada boom. That's all we're going to do is this simple little photo to slide in the front. Voila. Okay, let's find something to go in this little booklet. Ooh, I like this one. I wonder if it'll fit. No, I want the full effect of that one. I like it. Can you tell that that's sideways? It should be like that. I'm sorry. It's late and I'm getting a little... This one here might be good. Let's... Oh, what about this one? No, I want the hands in there. Let's see what this one looks like. Which one is it? We might have to put some underpants under this, but let's just see. We might just put some underpants over here or some, uh, maybe some stenciling. Okay. Yeah, that'll look cute, won't it? Whoops, it's backwards. I forgot I fold this backwards. That's why I kept it for myself. Because when I got done with it, I realized it was going backwards. I had put the picture on the back. So, but it doesn't bother me. So, let's see what we can find here in the stencil department. Okay, let's use this one. Do we want to make it green? I don't think I found, I don't think I ever found my green. Yeah, I have a green one out here. Maybe we should make it green. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. Now that, is it on? Yeah, I guess it's on. Okay, now, you know what I wish Janet would do? And if you're watching Janet, this is maybe a request. I don't know if you could do it or not, but you, I bet you could. She, um, she,
she edits. I don't know, Janet. Do you edit your own video stuff or does somebody else do it for you? One of your boys, maybe. I don't know. But she'll be um, doing her, you know, her video. And then all of a sudden she'll say, well, I'm making this heart for the giving tree. And then the next thing you know, the video is jumping and shows her going to the giving tree. And then at the end, you know, she's done with her video. And then it shows her and her dog, Freddie, taking a walk at the park. And I don't know how to do all that. I wish somebody would make a video on how to edit your videos. Like say, well, I use my phone and I use this app or I use a camera and I use this editing app or not an app. Maybe it's something that's on a computer. I don't know. But I wish somebody would make a video, hint, hint, Janet, showing how to do all that. I would love to talk about my goats and then jump out and show you video of the goats or say, well, I was in my rock garden today and then sh jump a video and show you that I'm in my rock garden. I would love to be able to do all that. Or, you know, I'm going mushroom hunting and, and take you mushroom hunting. I could do that. That would just be a whole video going mushroom hunting, but I just have no clue how to do that. No clue. Nada. Nothing. Okay, that one's done. That There's nothing in that one. And then this is going to fold over. There's nothing here because we did this one. And then this one has that clip to it. This has a flower on it. This one. We need to flip this up and see something beautiful inside. What'd I do? Pick up all lilies? Is this like the lily theme? I'm not too sure what's going to go with this black and white. That's for sure. This kind of looks good on there. And I like those orange roses. Okay. I think that's going to be it. Let's just do something all the way up. Let's just cover that crazy zigzag print. Okay, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to cover that crazy zigzag print. I know it has a fancy name, but I don't know what it is. I never have really cared for it. So let's just cut this lily out and put it on under the roses and make it all just one big flip. These two on here, these move. Now, I like this house in the background, so I think this is gonna go over this. I think that's going to cut that rose off. So we may have to scoot it over so that we get the roses. I think it's just going to go like, I don't know. I don't like that. Well, the house just isn't going to be in the picture. I'm sorry, Mr. House. You're blurry anyway, so. Okay, I'm just going to glue that on. I'm going to fold it so I can see where I'm gluing.
the Renaissance Fair is coming to Wichita. It's, it's every year they have a Renaissance Fair. I have never, ever, in the 40-some-odd years I've lived here, been to the Renaissance Fair. Have any of you ever been to one? Are they fun? Am I missing out on something? Because I, I think you have to pay to go. So, are you saying, no, it's no big deal, save your money, or do you think they're fun? And do you have to dress up? Like, can you go normal? Not normal, but can you go in your own style? Or do you have to uh, look like a Renaissance person when you go? Okay, now... That part is done. Now we're just going to glue this one up top. And I think that is going to be the completion of my three envelope journal. And that's another thing. I wish, I know there's a way to do it. And I bet Janet knows how to do it. I wish there was a way I could link that specific video down in my description. You know, I know I'm learning how to do at Janet Nash and sending you you to her her page. I think that's what I'm doing, right? And when I put at Janet Nash at the bottom, am I sending you or at Christina Shack? Am I sending you to their page or am I just letting them know I talked about them? I don't know the specifics of that but I wish there was a way I could say you know three envelope journal and then you click on it and it take you there and you could see how to build it from her these are things I don't know and I don't have any friends that do YouTube videos that can help me with that not a soul around here My best friend Tracy's coming up the third week in May. She'll come up and spend several days with me, and we'll go junkin'. I'll drive her. I'll chauffeur her, her around while she buys junk for her um, for her antique booths and the malls back in Missouri. And then one day we will spend all day arting, which she I drive her around for two or three days. And then she plays in the art room with me for a day. It's paint payment for, oh my gosh, did, oh my gosh. <gasps> you guys, do you see what I did? This one is on up stinking side down. <gasps> oh, I can't do it. I'm going to have to turn it around. I can't. I can't do it. We're just going to have to hinge it. Because nothing cannot be fixed. We can fix this. So we're just going to take. I'm not going to use the glue stick for this. Or do I want to sew it on? Yeah, let's just sew it on. So I'm going to use the glue stick just to put this piece of paper down on here. We'll make a hinge and then I'll go across it with my sewing machine. And we will be back in business. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's turn this over. Make sure we got it where we need it. 
trim that off. I always tell my grandkids, you cannot make a mistake. Nothing that we can't fix. Nothing. Do I want to do that or do we want to use... I don't really have a washi that's wide enough to bend that really even matches. So I'm going to go ahead and put this painty paper over it again and it'll catch when I sew the other side. I, I it was just, I mean, since this is my journal, looking at those upside down lilies would have bothered me. So couldn't do it. Wait a second. I'm going to fold it this way. Okay. Okay. I just sewed it with a zigzag. And now we have our little folder with our flowers inside. Where does that go? It goes in here. And we've got, we don't have anything on this one, which I don't know if I really have anything because I love just the look of that paper. So for now, ooh, ew, ew. For now, I'm going to leave it. I like that one, but I, I don't like that. Let's do it. No, just a minute. I think we can put this one on here. No, we've got enough lilies. But I can tell you, I don't like that zigzaggy stuff. So let's put this and you know what I know what that is and I can't think of it for the life of me no it is not rhubarb it is uh well I have some in my yard and it practically stays green like that all winter takes a lot to kill it off and now it's already full-fledged up again so and I Dug it up at the nursing home because it was in their flower bed in the full sun. When I was take when mom and dad were up there, I took care of their flower beds, and it's not supposed to be in the sun. It needed shade, and so I dug it up and brought some of it home because they didn't have any shade in that flower bed, and um, never did know what it was. And then I was at a garden tour in Wichita, and darned if it wasn't there, and it had a tag. So I took a picture of it, of what the name of it was. And I don't remember what it is. But I will tell you, it requires a stinking lot of water. Okay. I'm just going to put that on there. Let's go ahead and bind this baby up real quick so she's finished. Well, you guys, <laughs> I, keep coming, I keep running across something that's not done. Man, I really wanted to use that one, but. One more. Just one more and we will bind it. It'll be the quickest bind job you ever saw. I'll do it zippity doo dah because I know the time is getting late again.
Thank goodness I like lilies. Good grief. I just went through my folder in my file cabinet marked focals and started grabbing everything that had a flower on it. And I must have hit the lily issue of birds and blooms or something. Okay. What do you think about that? Okay, now. Now I think we're in the home stretch. Here we go. Now let's bind her up. Okay. It's going to go right here. I think I'm going to use the crocodile. Guess what? I don't think I am because I think it's in the house in my winter room and uh, and I don't want to go in there. So we are going to wing it. Wing it like winners. I want it on the outside. So I can put dingle dangles on it. And no, I am not teaching you how to do a three-hole pamphlet stitch. If you want to learn how to do that, there's a bajillion, bajillion videos. Because, look at me, I am totally not doing this right. Darn it. I am not on my crack. That's why I like to use the crocodile because it'll get you right on your crack. There we go. And I'm going to go right back down through this envelope because it's short and I want to make sure it's held in there. So this is not going to be, you know, perfectly spaced. It's spaced out of convenience is what it is. Just like that. There we go. Just like that. Ooh, we couldn't have gotten those much closer. Now, I will put some cute little charmy. One signature. I'll put some cute little charmy dingle dangles on there. And this bad boy is done. What do you think about that? Was that fun or what? Thank you, Janet, for inspiring me, like always. Whoo.
Okay. We did it. We did it. Thank you, thank you for hanging out with me again. I will see you next time. Good night. Bye-bye from Birdie.